Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and we are back with another episode of Super Thursday. I'm here with Bailey and Josh. Julia couldn't be with us for this episode, but she'll be back next week. Um, yeah, so we started our fall semester last week as second year students, so it's our last year in the program. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, our class has just started, like I said, last week, and we're already inundated with a lot of stuff to do. But if you're curious what we're learning, Josh will tell you what classes we're taking. Uh, we are taking Graphic Design 3, uh, Computer Graphics 3, Interactive Design, and as well as print, Digital Print Production. And so in each of those classes, we're learning like a different thing. So we're learning marketing strategies, mm -hmm. strategies, we're learning how to code, we're learning user experience, user interfaces, um, just a lot of cool different stuff that we never really got to dip into last mm -hmm. semester. Yeah. So it's definitely like a level up. Oh yeah. A big yeah. level <laughs> up, <laughs> level one to level 50. <laughs> <laughs> um, so far, what has been your guys' favorite class? Ooh, that one's hard because we got it, a lot of different things going on. Yeah, there's a lot already going on with all the classes. I so far, I'm actually kind of liking the user experience, user interface type of thing. Mm -hmm. I just like that whole. I like the like the actual designing aspect of it, like you know, like the colors and stuff, and the coding. I really mm -hmm. like the coding. Oh, yeah. I started that last week as well. And, it's um, fun. It, yeah, it's really fun. It's I don't easy. Know why. Okay, I was. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be hard, mm -hmm. harder than it what it is. But it's really not that bad. Like once you actually like learn it, mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we get to learn HTML and CSS coding in this program. We have a few projects to like code our own websites mm -hmm. and um, things like that. So my favorite aspect of what we are learning so far, though, is the marketing. Like yeah. I love marketing. All the digital campaigns, all that stuff. I think. But you, fun. you're good at that. You, yeah, I feel like you are. Your brain just thinks like that. <laughs> I'm not like creative with my art, but I am creative with my mind. Yeah. To go to. Um. So with all of the new stuff that we are learning, we're we're also branching into new types of projects. Oh, yeah. So last semester, everything that we did was more student work. Mm -hmm. Um. But, like a class-oriented project of make-believe in some sense. Well, this time we're working with community partners. Um, what else? Just a lot. It's different. Like yeah. the, the dynamic of the projects are way different. Oh, yeah. I feel like they're way more serious. They hold way more robust, and they're definitely going to be in our portfolios. Like whereas, I mean, there's going to be some from first year, but yeah. not many. Mm -hmm. Like these are just like the actual type of projects that we'll take on in the real world or like within the industry. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. He's also really helping us whenever we do help with, I mean, work with clients. So like, it's really helpful that we are taking them, yeah, on. Taking them on right now. So we get that experience. So, yeah. It's fun. I like it. Yeah. And it's not, it's, it's like, <laughs> I'm just yeah. thinking of like time management, you know, yeah. it's like, it feels like we only have so much in a day to accomplish, but it's just reflective of like in the real world. Once yeah. we get jobs, like mm -hmm. we're going to be handling like different projects back to back and just time management. That is really what yeah. it is. And thank God for Asana. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to be working this semester with Catawba Farms mm -hmm. here in Newton, North Carolina. The esports team on campus, as well as with the communications department on campus. Yeah. And we're going to be doing a mural. Oh, a mural for that one? Yeah. Um, who else There's one there? more. What is the last one? What are you working on? There's a calendar. Oh, our app project, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So we get to design an app that solves a problem. And at the end of the semester, or early November, actually, we will pitch it Shark Tank style. Mm. Exciting! Yeah. <laughs> Winner gets to take home some money. It's gonna be great. I love Shark Tank. I watched I it. Too. You know? Yeah. Uh, and that's what got me into like business marketing stuff. And then I really like the show. Wait, did you do you watch it? I I watched it, but like, I'm scared of it. Like, <laughs> I could never be. I don't know. It's gonna be hard for me to do that. Yeah, you gotta step out of your shell. Oh yeah. And Shark but I think that that's one thing that we have one skill that we've learned really well is to how to communicate and present mm -hmm. and that's just crazy to see how far we came mm -hmm. but you are always good at presenting yeah you yeah. Um, you're natural with it yeah thanks guys <laughs> please don't give me hugs <laughs> 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 um, 
Um, yeah, so like they said this first, uh, at the first day of the semester, we're really going to be tested on our presentation mm -hmm. skills, our design skills, and our collaborating skills because we'll be just doing, we'll be doing two big projects in teams and then next semester we'll be working in agencies as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, so um, we'll, we'll each have like different roles. It's going to be fun. It's just uh, new dynamics, basically. Mm -hmm. New beginnings. Yes. <laughs> Um, so kind of, we've already talked about, you know, the classes we're taking, projects that we have going on. Um, let me ask you guys, what are you looking forward to most this year? Graduating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, I'm looking forward to just learning how to do everything and getting into my element, basically like my workflow and how I can like, just basically diving deeper into myself as a designer. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking forward to. Just learning more about myself. I'm really excited for the esports project that we're doing because I feel like that's that is really cool. It. I don't know. That's really I also cool. like esports a lot, so You're passionate I about understand it. it and could help a lot with their stuff that they might need help with. So yeah, mm -hmm. like that's what? Good. This is me getting I'm, intel on what you're going to do. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> can't say. That's confidential. <laughs> And I was ready about to say some stuff yeah. too. <laughs> I was ready to get that in. Um, I'm looking forward to our portfolios because we're going to oh, be yeah. revisiting our old stuff, mm -hmm. and I have ideas of how to make them better. And I'm just, you know, I can't wait to the point where I have something tangible to look at my progress mm -hmm. and actually like sell myself as a designer to say, hey, let yeah. me work for you. This you know? is me. Yeah. Also, we're all working on our personal branding right now, which oh, is yeah. like really challenging because to like step back and view yourself for like what you are, <laughs> it's kind of like, whoa. Yeah. We had um, worksheets to help guide us, and the first question was, who are you? <laughs> like, who am I? Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a therapist. <laughs> but really, it, the process that they have is great, because looking at last year's portfolios and their personal yeah. branding, I mean, everyone was nailed down to a T. Yeah. Just Sounds everyone good. had unique concepts. Everyone was going into different things. Like, you really find the time to learn, like, what you want to do in the future, and really like learn how you want to be promoted, you know, you yeah. get to control it. And it's just fun. It's just so many different routes you could go. I think a lot of our older <laughs> like talk about first semester projects, <laughs> you know, it's interesting to see how we built them before we like were efficient in the oh, true. in the program. So now we actually have like the evidence or not evidence, but the knowledge to like yeah, to build the them correctly with the right tools. Yeah. <laughs> and even the in, right design, design concepts too, you mm -hmm. know. Because now we actually can understand them and apply them. Yeah, it's just crazy to see the whole growth as a as a whole, like from the year in mm -hmm. each of our so. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, um, do you guys remember the first day of class when we had to get together with the first years and they took up just this whole space? Oh yeah. There's just a lot of enrollment in those mm -hmm. first year classes. Yes, it's exciting. It is. Because there was not that same energy when we when our class yeah. was going through. But it is really exciting because it's, it's just different. And it's different, too, because when we started, it was um, in the middle of the COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we didn't even know Josh till second semester because Literally. our two groups were, like, separately. Yeah, yeah. It could have been, like, that way still. We would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No. I'm really glad that we, like, mixed together the second semester because mm -hmm. just knowing you and a few of the others who joined, mm -hmm. like, just being all together and like, knowing one another as a unit has really helped me, like, maintain some level of sanity in yeah. this program. <laughs> Literally. Because I feel like you're not alone. We've yeah. got each other. Yeah, We're a family. <laughs> we are a team. Also, Team building exercises. We did oh, those. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was fun. That yeah, was. That was fun. Maybe we could insert some pictures mm -hmm. or something on our Instagram. Are they already on there? Yeah, we can repost some of the behind the scenes uh, photos that we have mm -hmm. of that day. It was fun. Um, do you guys want to talk briefly of the games we played? Uh, oh yeah, we did the carpet one where like the floor was lava, so we all had to get across <laughs> from one side of the room to the other side. But there was like a certain amount of carpets we had. We had to work together to make sure we stepped on each of the carpets and he would take some from us and we would be have less and less and less. We had to like share carpets, like yeah. three people on one carpet, like a small carpet. It was a hard task, but we got through it. It was cute. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then what was the other one? The one where we had a like, it was a group of five, 
and they had a tennis ball oh, yeah, with the with ring, ring on top of a toilet paper roll. He was mm-hmm. like radioactive or something. Yeah, like radioactive. <laughs> and he had to take it from one side of the that room to the weird. other mm-hmm. and work as a team. Like if you're pulling it on a long piece of string and you really just communicated like next moves, encouragement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like at the end of the games, he kind of gave you a synopsis of things he noticed. And then I, when he was going over that, I'm like, oh, wow, that's what I said or that's what yeah, this can, group did. You yeah, know? yeah. So it's wow. fine. Maybe I am a good person. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last game we did. Was oh. it the photos? Yeah, right? the story one. The photos was fun. Mm-hmm. So, like, the photos consisted of, like, a shuffled deck of uh, different, like, pictures from a story, but we had to piece the pictures together in order, like, just by describing them. So it was basically working on communication mm-hmm. within the group. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was fun. And we turned out we got most of them right. Yeah. <laughs> and we even had to backtrack, but just – briefly we yeah. got him right <laughs> <laughs> it was great to see like how um we communicated as a group like our yeah. dynamic because mm-hmm. it's not all like rainbows and butterflies there were some things in our group that we could work on and we needed to work on or at least be aware of then going into these group projects i mean had we not mm-hmm. had that i don't think we would have we would be as um on a level to succeed as we are now yeah, yeah. and um our group is a little bit smaller than the previous group and then the one even before us, but what, like the ones that just enrolled. Mm-hmm. Like we're a small group. Yeah. <laughs> like we are. We're it's tiny. nine of us. And I think the graduating class had like 14. Yeah. There was a few more. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just more opportunities to like mm-hmm. get to know one another mm-hmm. and then really push each other. Like, And I'm grateful for the small yeah. group because I feel like yeah. with the bigger group, it wouldn't be the same. I don't know. I just feel like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the dynamic would have been better if our group was still kind of big. Mm-hmm. But at the not. same time, you know, we're here to, to pursue our passion and dream, so it's just more intimate. It is. Yeah. I feel like. It is. Mm-hmm. I like it, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now that we are in second years, you guys, what would <laughs> you say to those first years who are just now getting started on their degree mm. on their project don't procrastinate <laughs> <laughs> seriously it'll Say it for the people in the back. <laughs> don't procrastinate no it'll really it'll it'll f you up man really mm-hmm. it'll slow your roll mm-hmm. it'll stress you out you miss one deadline your whole project's pushed yeah. behind even yeah, if you have to miss class email your professor yeah. and send copies of your thumbnails or whatever it is due because they will like Tom did that for me one time. He marked up my PDF that I sent him because I couldn't be there in class. That's good. And that kept me on track to, like, be um, not be behind on the project. That's good. Another thing is probably a file organization because mm. that's came in handy. My file organization has actually came in handy because, like, pulling oh, yeah. up that drive-in movie yeah. theater, I was like, mm, a little rocky. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, they're actually, my files are pretty well organized. In my first semester compared to my second semester files, oh, my God. It's way better, huh? Mm-hmm. You have to because you got to be able to find them quick. Oh, I would say also save your project sheets. Your project sheets, yes. any feedback that you get on them at the end of the, uh, whenever the due date, you'll get a rubric, a rubric, rubric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, some feedback, save that, screenshot it, mm-hmm. do something, it away. yeah, because yeah. you'll need it, you'll definitely need it again. I have one of those little, like, file organiza- organization the things. Accordion. Yeah, files. it looks like an accordion, and that's, that's what I keep Yeah, me too. And I organize it by class, so highly recommend that. Organization is key, I would mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Josh, anything? Back up your files. Oh, yes, yeah. major. Okay, where are some places that you guys back up your files? OneDrive. OneDrive? Yeah, and I then I also have my second computer at home. But with from here, it's gonna be, but I have another file at home as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually planning, I think I'm going to plan on getting another uh, hard drive and just mm-hmm. having two of them so that way in case mm-hmm. something happens. Mm-hmm. I have a copy. I have one on OneDrive. I should probably throw it on my desktop or my laptop. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm just scared to put that much stuff on my laptop. <laughs> yeah, same because of the memory. But at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, it's only through school, you know. Like, once I make money, I'll get a second laptop. <laughs> 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 just throw the whole laptop away. <laughs> um, what else should we tell the first years? Um, I'm trying to think. What would I want? Take to- your project serious. Like, oh. I feel like that's one thing I didn't do fully. Like, I feel like I didn't put. Mm. I don't want to say, like, I didn't take it serious, but 
I just felt like I wasn't taken serious, so I didn't take the project serious, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I think to elaborate what you just said, I noticed that on some, like first year, there are some projects where from the beginning, I actually put in thought into the early stages, like your thumbnails and your concepts yes. mm -hmm. versus some projects where I left the yes. last minute. And the outcome was way different. Yeah, the outcome's different. And just your um, passion, I guess is mm -hmm. the word, for your project is different because the projects where I actually put in like more effort and thought and really planned time to do it, they came out stronger. And my speech or my presentation was very strong because I Agreed. felt like I had time to know my project mm -hmm. versus the other ones where I left things to do last minute. Like I, I was kind of like ha up there, like wondering what did I do here or why did I do this, you know? Like, um, yeah. Just that's to, definitely a better way to put it, I feel, because mm -hmm. that's how I feel. That's literally exactly how I feel. And then now that we have to revisit them, you're just like, dang, I like, should. Why did I do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, wow. <laughs> what else? What else is there? Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Also, some things just come with trial and error, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just learn. Never stop learning. Like, that's what I, one thing I did mm -hmm. when I first entered the program is I just started following a bunch of graphic design stuff mm -hmm. i would just look up graphic design videos mm -hmm. just learning more about it that's what bailey and i do on instagram and a few sure. others uh, we just share videos of like design tips mm -hmm. or marketing tips um just to say for future reference and even a project i had last semester mm -hmm. i incorporated one of those um instagram real videos that i saw and it was really mm -hmm. good and that's cool yeah but you can just learn something that quick it's just you all you have to always be learning and even like talk to your uh professors yes. after class like just ask them what their favorite program is or their favorite design aspect whatever like get them talking and you'll really just learn from them and another recommendation i have is to take screen printing just because oh, you can yeah. you can oh, see yeah. it go from like a design to like tangible and you can see the whole process of it and you learn the whole process of it and what can be designed and what can't be designed. Mm -hmm. I think that's really interesting. Yeah, it's important to take that class, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, any last words here, you guys? We're reaching mm -hmm. the end. Any um, last words? Um, oh, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Good luck first year. <laughs> yes, good Stick luck first year. Stick in there. Honestly, this year, the, nobody's dropped out in our class. So many people <laughs> dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> literally yeah. within two weeks we were down half <laughs> you just really quickly you find if this is really your passion yeah, or not with the project yeah. yeah and um you know you first years you might be encountering a lot of issues you're gonna be doubting yourself i mean we did it a lot yeah. i mean just be there for one another <laughs> you know i would always try to say something encouraging to people um i know i sat down with julia one day just to talk things out because um things can get pretty intense yeah. and you're in college, trying to figure out your future, you know? And plus you're juggling life and everything mm -hmm. else. So. And the projects, you know, they might seem like they're taking forever to accomplish, or you might think, oh, I don't need that step. I, every single step is there for a reason, and your projects always come out stronger when you do that. And in mm -hmm. retrospect now, it was just, it's just way better to do it that mm -hmm. way. It's way better to follow everything like that. It's just like, just looking back, you're like, wow. Because at the time, you feel like, well, man, I can't get this done. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. And then you end up like, mm -hmm. so keep your head in the game. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you're not a graphic design student just yet, or you're interested in learning more about a program, we have a club called the 3D Club, and we'll actually be at an event next Wednesday. The event is uh, Have a Dog with a Big Dog. It's going to be from 11 to 1 um, here on campus. And you can see me and Stephanie there as well. You're going to be there, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm Maybe in the time there. slot from 11.30 to 12 with Josh Julia. Josh and I are there from 11 to 1. <laughs> Julia and I. <laughs> We're going to be there from 11 to 11.30. We're really the main show. Everyone else is just <laughs> Everybody character. else is irrelevant. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. But there's going to be goodie bags there. There's going to be... Stickers. We're going to hand out swag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stuff we what food all are we get. Having? <laughs> are we having hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ew. we'll be having hot dogs, and I'm assuming the works. Mm. Yeah. Um, mm -mm -mm. So yeah, catch us there. Um, you know, here in graphic design, I think the first years will come to get to know this little catchphrase that we have. But whenever you're just doubting something, we have a little catchphrase that we're gonna end the podcast in. One, mm -hmm. two, two, three. Trust, Trust the process. process. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>